Okay, and welcome back. So, um, this video is a response to a question that I had on my first video of the US 720i Duo. The question was, how does the cycle system work, or something to that effect. So we're going to go and give you guys an idea of how that works. It's a very nice tool. I like it a lot because it gets rid of all my conditioners, my uh, battery cyclers, and all together. But here what we're going to do is we're going to go and set up for this JR 5 cell 2700 milliamp pack. The um, reason I use the nickel metal is because really for lipos, there's, you don't cycle them all that much and there's no real read to, reason to. They don't develop memory or anything. So, um, to get this going, what I'm going to do is go up to my model memory here. Um, I use 20 as just kind of a random setup. So then uh, off to here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into it because you can see it's not set up correctly there. So the lithium, two cell and whatnot. So we're going to go in, then we're going to go down. You want to go to battery type. Nickel metal, that's correct. We're going to change it to a 5 cell 6 volt pack, that's correct. So this is a 2700, so we're going to go up to 27 there, go down to charge current. Now, since it's a receiver battery, I'm only going to charge it about 1.5 amps instead. Okay, so what you got to do for your cycle first is kind of like I'm doing here is um, you just got to set up everything that's in it, how your battery's going to work, how you want it to charge more or less, just kind of like you're normally going. But then you need to cycle down further to discharge amps. Now this one, since it's a receiver pack or any other pack, you can this charge can only do up to 500 million amps on discharge through the balance leads or through the main leads. So I'm going to put this one about 400. That's a standard load for any larger helicopter or airplane. Okay, and then five. Okay, see, it's already figured it out. So discharge volts for per cell. So we want 0.5 volts. Nickel metals, you don't want to go too much below 5 volts. Um, NICADs don't really care as much, but they do. Um, Lithium's obviously 3.3 volts. So we're going to go down. Okay, so our memory set up correct. So we just hold it down like we're going to start it. Holding enter. It says normal charge start. We don't want to do that. What we're going to do is go to a cycle. Oh, excuse me. Not pressing enter. Um, go down to where it says cycle start. And this is where we get the options that you're, the, uh, the question is directed to. What can we make it do? So here, this is first charge, then discharge. You can change that by pressing, whoops, excuse me, charge, then discharge, and you can do that by pressing up or down. And you can change which one you want it to do. So this is now going to be discharge, then charge. So if your pack is full, you want to do it this way. If it is, oops, if it's empty, you want to do it this way. Mine's dead, so we're going to do this way. Now the T stands for how many times you want it to cycle by itself. Right here, so 10 times, let's do it um, four times per se, whatever your setup is going to require. Then here, this is the break between each one of your cycles. So I'm going to move this up, say, 20 minutes. It's going to give the pack a second to, to break there, and then press enter, hold it down again, and there you go. Your cycle starting. So what it's going to do, as you can see here, it's going to cap at 1.5 amps. You see my battery voltage, and at the top, it tells me it's now currently charging, as you can see for there for the C. Tells me which one it's on. It's on one, so this is the first start, and then next is going to be discharge. So then the D will start to blink once it goes to the discharge mode, and you'll be ready to go. If you go left, you can start seeing all of your statistics about the battery here. Uh, excuse me, left, you can see the statistics, and then down, if you go on your standard, you can tell how much it's put into the pack because it's charging there, and you can see your time. Down, you can see my power supply is putting out 13 volts, temperature applicable peak voltage it'll tell you how much your current peak voltage is your resistance hasn't gone long enough to test TCS cap average voltage and whatnot so there you go that's how you cycle your pack and from there you just kind of let it go and she'll do her thing thanks for watching